Hi guys. So today, what uh, we want to be introduced to a, um, we're going to introduce ourselves to a new ecosystem. Uh, it's a, it's a strange one. Uh, it's a short little introduction because we're going to use this new ecosystem um, to better understand our own eco scenarios. So just remember really fast that that our ecosystem, what that is. Um, we're not talking just about the organisms. We're also talking about the space, the area, what the environment's like, um, non-living aspects are very, very important. And remember, we've already started to think about um, the idea of them interacting. They, they, they interact with one another, that the living organisms interact with each other, um, but they also interact with the environment, and the environment can impact the living things. So uh, our ecosystem we're going to see here today is something called Mono Lake. Um, and it's a, it's a, a unique one because it's got some really strange non-living components we're going to see. And again, we're just trying to introduce ourselves to that. And we're going to use this to better understand our own one. So I'm going to show you where it is in a second. It's, it's in California. And it's not out near Los Angeles or San Diego or San Francisco. It's inland. It's actually in the eastern part of California right up against Nevada, um, next to the Sierra Nevada um, mountains. And this, this Mono Lake we're going to see is very strange because it's, it's, has, uh, it's an alkaline lake. So if we look on our map here, uh, you can see there's California over here, Oregon, Idaho, Utah, Nevada. And you'll see a bunch of water. Now the dark blue, like these huge lakes on here, are where former old ancient lakes used to be. Uh, back in the Pleistocene era. So that's just as a, remember we studied geologic eras, that is about 2.6 million years ago, up until about eh, 12 or 11,000 years ago. So most of these lakes in this area, the dark blue, no longer exist. The light blue are the present day lakes. So right down here, down near the bottom, near our red dot, is, uh, is our mono lake. Um, you can see it down here along the out, uh, edge. Uh, that's where we're going to be going in that part of California. Um, but other ones like uh, Great Salt Lake you've probably heard of is actually huge. But look how big the original Lake Bonneville used to be. Gigantic, gigantic. So we're going to take a, a little field trip in a, in a little bit uh, to this lake. And we're just going to be introduced to some of the strange things there. So Ideally, we'd love to go there in real life. We can't do that. Um, so what we're going to do is, is go on a virtual field trip. Now, um, I, I'm going to ask the video. We're not going to watch the whole thing. We're only going to watch about, um, yeah, let's say like about the first eight minutes or so. Um, but just some things we want to think about is like, th this is an odd ecosystem. We're going to see that it actually, uh, it's different from other lakes. Um, and you're going to see in a moment as to why. And I want you to focus on what is this idea of alkaline you're going to see in the video. There's something really odd about this lake. Um, and although we're going to see the lake does have some periodically through various times of the year, does have some water flowing into it, how come it doesn't get bigger and bigger over time and just keep flooding and expanding? Um, and we're going to want to pay attention to what happens to the salt and the minerals in the water when that water evaporates. Um, so one aspect, we're going to meet a lot of different organisms, but primarily birds, but not just birds. And this is a very, this ecosystem is a really important stopover for migratory birds. Birds that migrate will fly like south in the winter and then fly back north in the summer. This is a really, really crucial spot for them to stop at certain times of the year because they have key interactions. So what we're going to do, I also, I'm going to put a link to the video on our classroom, I'll show you where that is in a second. Um, but I've also put, given you access to our FOSWeb, the resource book. So if you log into FOSWeb, starting on page 35, you can, um, you can find even more information. So we've got actually two options, the, the video, which we'll watch a, a small part of it, but we can always go back into the, the lake here, because uh, the book rather. We're going to keep going back to that. So I, I want you really, we're focused again on just the living and non-living components because we're going to, in the next couple of days, start to look at how they interact. What are they doing to each other or what are uh, uh, other things doing to them? So our main idea here that I want you to think about is as this Mono Lake, we don't need to uh, memorize everything about, but we want to be introduced to it because I want you to be able to compare it to your eco scenario. Some of the things we're going to do with Mono Lake in the next several days, you're going to do with your eco scenario. So what I'm going to uh, ask here is 
Um, I'm going to have you guys uh, stop where you're at, or, or actually I'll stop here. We're going to go uh, to our classroom, and again, everything that we need will be on there. We're going to watch just the first eight minutes and 20 seconds of the video. Uh, then I've got a couple, a few questions for you and an exit ticket, and we're going to build the next several days. Um, we're going to keep going back to this Mono Lake. All right.